Hello and welcome to Getting Up and Running Quickly with TrackSmart Scheduling. I'm Helene Coppell, your TrackSmart Product Manager and one of your presenters for today. And joining me later will be Alex Duran, TrackSmart Guru and Customer Champion. Before we get started, we have a few housekeeping notes. If you've got any questions during the presentation, enter them into the chat box on the left side of your screen and we'll answer as many as possible at the end of the presentation. Should you have more sound issues, please be aware that the audio is dependent on the stability of the internet connection. And if you're having trouble hearing us, please send a message through the chat window. One more thing, we'll email a link to the recording of this webinar within the next couple of days, so if you miss anything, you'll have another chance to catch it. Now back to the topic at hand. This webinar is specifically tailored to give you a deeper dive into the app and to get the most out of your TrackSmart scheduling experience. The structure of today's presentation will pretty much walk you through everything you need to, knew, everything you need to do and know so you can start scheduling quickly and effortlessly. Here's a brief overview of what we'll be covering. First, we'll go over, go over the simple three steps to getting started. First, you'll choose your settings. TrackSmart scheduling is very easy to use, but first you've got to set up a few things to make it work the way your business needs it to. Next, you'll add your employees so that you have people to schedule. Then you can just start scheduling. So step one and two involve some setup to save you much more time down the road. Now, this is the part where you get to add your shifts and schedule some of those employees into them. Then we'll show you how your employees use TrackSmart scheduling and how, uh, how you can save time by letting them take care of stuff on their own, all without needing to bug you. You can either show them from what you've learned or send them a link to this recording later on. After we cover the basics, I'll briefly review the mobile app and a few advanced features. You'll also hear what the customer success team does and it ain't just tech support. And then finally, we'll have a Q&A with our customer success coaches. Remember, you can send in your questions at any time through that chat box on the lower left screen, and we will answer them during the Q&A session. So get ready to say goodbye to scheduling headaches and those when do I work calls, because here we go. Okay. We're going to start by going through the settings. Let's first remind you about these screens. You might remember seeing these when you first signed up. You went through a three-step a three-step process where you may have entered some basic settings, a few sample employees and shifts. We realize that most people move quickly through this just to get to the app. So we're going to walk you through what to do now after you've passed this point. So you can set up the detailed information and begin using TrackSmart scheduling to manage your day-to-day -day scheduling. If you click on the settings link in the top menu bar up in the right, you'll see that you've got a lot of options to customize your experience here on this page. Don't worry, I'm not going to go over every little detail. Technically, there's plenty of default settings already set up for you to head directly to adding employees and scheduling shifts. I encourage you to explore this area after the webinar to see how flexible this app really is. We'll just look at some of the more important ones quickly, and you can get to each settings page from the menu on the left to get into each specific area. By the way, My pages are out of order. Remember that org, org info page you filled out when you first signed up? Here's where you can update that if you rush through. You can set up the first day of the work week for your schedules, time and date formats, holidays to display on the calendar, and some very basic permissions for the people at your business who will be using TrackSmart scheduling. Also included in your free trial and most paid plans is the time clock feature. 
The time clock allows scheduled employees to clock in and out from any computer or smart device or mobile device. These settings let you designate when an employee can clock in based on the schedule, who can review, edit, and approve those records. It lets you designate a specific computer or device as the official time clock station and decide whether employees can clock in from the mobile app. Next up, you can see there are overtime and maximum hour settings. Maximum hours caps out the number of hours an employee can be scheduled for the week as a default, though you can uh, override that in a specific employee's profile. And you can also set up how overtime is calculated at your business. If you're scheduling for more than one location or department, you can set those up here. Enter the name of your location or department, the time zone, and click Save. The time zone can be different from one location to another, so when you're scheduling shifts for a particular, a particular location, the times will be local to that time zone you set. You can also write in the address if you'd like. By the way, you'll see in the employee's profile that you can set them up to work at multiple locations if that's how your business works. The position settings lets you create positions that you'll assign to the employees in shifts. This helps you schedule by position. So you'll see later in this webinar that when your shift calls for a cook, that only an employee with cook listed in their profile will be scheduled into that shift. I'll also show you in a bit how you can assign multiple employees all at once to be able to work a certain position. You've got some other settings that will let you set up rules for breaks, swapping shifts, and giving up taking open shifts. Again, we recommend you're taking a look on your own and adjusting those settings to fit your needs. So that's it for settings. Now that you've seen how flexible TrackSmart scheduling can be so it fits how your business works, we're ready to move on to adding your employees. Okay, so maybe when you first signed up, you entered just a few employees as suggested. Now you can go in and add all your employees and some more details that will help you with your scheduling. To add or edit employees, click on the Employees link in the upper right menu. You'll see you're already loaded in as an administrator with the email address you signed up with. You'll also see any employees you added during that initial sign-up process. You can add a new employee by clicking on the New Employee button. So you can add each new employee one at a time by entering information here. Only the first and last names are required. But if, you want, if you're planning to send your employees their schedules by email and take advantage of the self-service features, you'll need a unique email address for each employee. Also, you can designate here which location or positions the employee can work, whether they're full or part-time, their hourly rates, which will come in handy for seeing your labor costs, and set additional permissions to manage other employees or also manage the system as another administrator. Bear in mind that when your employees are on TrackSmart scheduling, they will not see any of those labor details the privacy is maintained. Check out this tag field. You can add skills or other details to help identify the right people to schedule for a shift. For example, we have a customer that has a tag for the word key for the employees who have keys to the store so that they can schedule those people for opening or closing shifts. You'll see how to use that when we're scheduling shifts later. If you have a lot of employees, this can be a long, cumbersome process. So we've got a faster route for you. You can import your employees all at once. To do that, click on the Import Employees button next to New Employee on the Employee page we came from before. And this box appears on your screen. You'll download the CSV template by clicking on this Click to Download link. A CSV file will download to your computer that looks like this. You can fill it out using Excel. You'll see you're just going to enter some very basic information, not every field, but it'll get you up and running quickly. Once you've entered all the employee information you need, 
Save this file somewhere easy to find like your desktop. Make sure you save it with the same name. Okay. Then come back to your upload window and click on Choose File. Select the file you just saved from your computer and click the Upload CSV button. You'll get a confirmation message letting you know how many employees were imported and your employees will get a notification that they can now use TrackSmart Scheduling too. If you want to add their additional details or permissions later, you can do that in their profiles. By the way, if you're having problems uploading your CSV, just send it to us at scheduling at TrackSmart.com and a customer success coach can walk you through it or even take care of it for you. The email address to contact them is even shown in this window, by the way. And that's it for adding employees. Now we can start creating and scheduling your shifts. So everything up until now has been about getting your account set up to fit your business. The great part is you only have to do it once at the beginning. So now we're ready to add your shifts to the calendar, and we'll show you how to do that using Jenny's Diner as our example. You'll click on Schedule from the top menu to get to your schedule. If you've got more than one location, you can select that in the top left drop-down. Choose the week you need to schedule. Notice, by the way, the first day of the week is the one you set up earlier in your settings. So just click on the day in the calendar to create your shift. This box will appear, and you'll click on the new shift block to create your new shift. Give your shift, uh, you'll give your shift a name, a color code, and set it to schedule just the specific positions, if, if that's the way you'd like to do it. You'll add the times and the number of people you need, and an address if you'd like. By the way, you can just keep repeating this process until you have all the shifts you need available there. Now you can see all my shifts color-coded to the color of my choice with the shift names I specified and the times of the shifts. If I scheduled for a certain position, then you'll see that too. Now I can just click on the right one to add it to any day. So here, I've added all my shifts to the week. Right away, you notice that little red alert icon on each shift? It tells me that I don't have enough people to cover the shift, which makes sense since we haven't scheduled anyone yet. So click into any shift block to do that. So this box appears, showing me all available employees. If this had been set up for only certain positions, only those employees with that position in their profile would appear in the list. And by the way, if anybody had time off, their name would be crossed out in this. Okay. So you could hover over a name to see some of the details that can help you with the scheduling. You see the zero out of six at the top. That's because I set up my shift for six people, and so far I haven't selected any. Zero out of six selected. By the way, if you've got a long list and are looking for someone specific, you can search by the name or that tag I talked about. Remember that example I used earlier for an employee with a key who can uh, open or close. I've also heard customers tell me about using tags like forklift for scheduling their construction crew to know who can handle the forklift, and then they would just search in that field for either a name or that tag. So here, I've scheduled my shifts for Thursday. You can see the employees lifted, listed in those shifts right at the calendar. I can easily see at a glance who's working that day. Also notice the red alert icon is gone for those shifts. So you just kind of continue that process until your schedule's full for the week. By the way, if you've pretty much got the same shift and staff working each day, you could just create and schedule one shift and then copy that one to each day. Or if you accidentally set it up for the wrong day, you can move it. 
just right click on the shift block to copy and right click on another day to paste it or move it there. Okay. Once you have your schedule set, you'll publish it to let your employees know it's ready and when they work. Just click the publish button on the left and this box will open. By default, the schedule being sent is the current week, but you can change these dates however you need. Check the box if you also want to email the schedule to employees and add any comments. Then click the Publish button. You see here there's a confirmation message, and then you can just close it. The schedule is now available to all scheduled employees on the site and on the mobile app. Here's an example of the emails your employees get. It shows their schedule and if there are any open shifts available that they may want to take. I'll stop here for a second to let you know that your privacy and your employees' privacy is very important to us. We will never use your employee email addresses for marketing purposes or share their information with any other entity or communicate with them directly for any reason other than support as needed. If you're happy with the schedule, you can copy it again and again. Go to an empty week where you need to assign a schedule. You can see in the middle of the screen is a big copy schedule button. You can also copy schedule by clicking on the copy schedule button on the left. Confirm which week's schedule you want to copy. Could be the previous week or three months ago. It's up to you. If you want to copy the shifts and the employees, click the first option. You could just copy the shifts only and assign employees to different shifts than you had in the previous week. I'm going to select to copy both shifts and employees because that week, well, it worked for everybody. So click that Copy button. And now, last week's schedule is repeated for this week. Big time saver, right? So you have another great feature to help you take back your time, and that's the auto scheduler. You've seen how to copy schedules with and without employees, so let's say you just copy the shifts, but you want to change up the employee schedules. Auto schedule makes it very quick and simple. Here we've copied our shifts into a new week. Then we would click the auto schedule on the left. This screen asks you to confirm the dates you're auto scheduling for. If you only wanted to auto schedule one day or a few weeks at a time, you can set that here. You've got a few options. By default, auto schedule will not schedule employees back to back and will only schedule employees for one shift a day. The third option here says turn unscheduled shifts into open shifts. That means that after the auto scheduler runs, TrackSmart Scheduling will take any unfilled shifts and turn them into open slots, which then appear on your employees' dashboards in their account. The employees are then free to take the open shift as long as it doesn't conflict with how you've done your settings related to that. Okay, and then you get a confirmation message. Here, our auto schedule results say 58 shifts were scheduled and there are 8 open shifts created. Now, if you're not happy with the schedule, you can click Clear Schedule and start over. That's at the top of the screen. You have two options. You can clear all the shifts and the scheduled employees, leaving you with a completely blank slate, or you can keep the scheduled shifts and only clear the scheduled employees with the second option, putting you right back to the state I was in before we hit the auto schedule. Now I can publish, publish this new schedule to my employees and include a message to make sure they are aware there are eight open shifts and to take what they can. Let's go take a look at the dashboard now. This is what you see when you first sign in, or you can get to it from the menu up top. I can see today's schedule. Under the My Schedule link, I can see my own schedule. 
under requests, I can see who submitted any time off or swap requests, and I can accept or reject them by clicking on those related buttons on the right. On Find Open Shift, I can see what open shifts are available, and I can offer mine up or take a shift from another employee. The Time Clock tab shows any recent clock-in records from all my employees, and I can approve, delete, or edit those records here. And finally, there's the wall. This area is like a virtual bulletin board where I or my employees can make posts to everyone. As an administrator, I can delete any of these posts made by my employees if I need to. This also allows us here at TrackSmart to communicate with you in case there's anything important you need to know. And on the right there, you can see recent activity on your account. See who's been logging in. Looks like it's been me. Okay. Let's go back to today's schedule. You've got several communication options with your employees. I can click on the Email Staff button, and this will send an email to all my staff with email addresses with the email addresses available, if I just want to communicate without sending a schedule, if I want to communicate with an individual employee, I can filter on the dashboard using the drop down in the upper left to see who's scheduled today or any day I choose. I can also filter on who's not scheduled or to show me all the employees. If I want a specific employee, I can search by name in that search box. Then I click the email button to the right to send an email to that employee only. If there's a phone number on file, a mobile phone number on file, I can also send a text message directly from TrackSmart Scheduling to the employee. You would click on the text button. Type in your message, and then you would click Send Text. See? That's what they would see. All right. Now I'll hand it over to Alex Duran, who will walk you through what your employees will experience. Well, thank you, Helene. What <clears throat> the employee view and track smart scheduling, you may want to ask, what is this all like for your employees? Helene touched a little bit on their view of emails and text messages, but what about their view of track smart scheduling? I'll show you that now. This is an employee's dashboard when an employer will be able to view all their published up upcoming shifts. They can click on the View button to see the scheduled work week. If you click on the Schedule link in the upper right navigation, then it will show the current work week. The Today's Schedules link shows the employer who is scheduled on their location for today, or they can see any other day by clicking the arrows in the top left. Under the Find Open Shift tab, the employee can view shifts that are open for them based by position or locations or department they can work in. For example, if a full-time employee has not worked their full-time hourly maximum this week, they will be able to take on another shift by clicking on the Take Shift button. Here, Carly has already worked the maximum hours, so she cannot take on another shift, and the button is disabled. She can view the schedule, though. Another time-saving feature is how employees can swap shifts without bothering you. From the dashboard, click on the My Schedule tab. An employee can choose a shift he or she wants to swap and click on the Swap button here to the right of the shift. The view expands to show all other eligible shifts to swap with and with whom he or she can swap the shift. She makes the request by clicking the Request Swap button. In your administrator settings, you can set whether all shift swaps need to be approved by an administrator, or you can allow them to be approved automatically. Remember, TrackSmart scheduling will never override rules you set that violates overtime, minimum or maximum hours, shift coverage, or time off requests. So even if you specify that you don't need to approve shift swaps, those swaps must meet the requirements that you set in the app in order to occur. This way, you're giving the your employee the power to take care of their schedules for you, but they won't be able to overrule any of your policies. Trackmark Scheduling manages these rules for you. If Carter needs to take time off or has a specific time where she cannot work, 
So you can make a request by clicking on the time off in the upper right navigation. Here, Carly can put in a single time off request where she will not be able to work or you can or you will be not able to schedule her during that time period if approved the time off. She can also say a recurring request. Let's say she's a part-time worker and works on another job on Mondays and Wednesdays. She can specify that she will never be available on Mondays and Wednesdays. Tracksmart Scheduling will then never auto-schedule her for those days. It's like setting blackout dates for specific employees. They can make these requests themselves, which will then send you a notification to your dashboard and it will not go into effect until you approve it. An administrator can set and override these rules as well, as needed. Your employees also have a, few, have a view of the wall and their recent time clock records from their dashboard, just like the administrator's view. The difference for an employee is that the employer can only view his or her own time clock records, and he or she cannot delete wall posts like the administrator and managers can. Our mobile app, uh, our mobile app and advanced features on the on the program, access to access the TrackSmart scheduling mobile app is always included on your free trial and plan. The app is available for iPhone and Android. You can simply simply search it by typing in TrackSmart in your phone's mobile app store. Our other apps will show up: TrackSmart Attendance, TrackSmart Time Clock. So make sure you choose the TrackSmart scheduling with the icon you see on the screen. Here are some screenshots from our mobile app. You can choose which day to view, and then the there's the shift information for that date. Click on a specific shift, and that shift will span to show you who is scheduled for it. If you have an employee's phone number on file, you can tap their name. Here. Carly has, the, has a phone number on the file, so her name is underlined. I tap her name, and this contact Carly box opens. I can then call or text her directly. You can also pick, up, pick any days to view the shift information and who is scheduled. Your employees can use the app to submit time off requests, as well as, as offer up their shift to somewhere else or swap shifts. Here you, here you review and approve or decline pending time off requests from your phone. You cannot create shift or auto schedule from the phone app. You will need to go to your computer to perform these more advanced tasks. However, all your shift and employee information and pending approvals will be with you anytime and on the go. There are many more customized features that I didn't fully cover because this is supposed to be getting up and running quickly. And I do want to keep my word on the quick part. I walk you through getting started for yourself and for your employees. There are some features that I didn't cover, but I encourage you to continue to explore the free trial and test them on your own. You can still set positions for employees and assign those positions to shifts. You can set hourly wages and salaries so track smart scheduling will produce a labor cost profile for each shift that looks like this. This is available under your schedule view. Additionally, you can run reports to see all schedule shifts, time records of all employees or specific ones, create a payroll report, and much more. Also included in your free trial is a full access to the time clock feature. <clears throat> the time clock allows scheduled employees to clock in and out from any computer or smart device. You can designate a computer or device at your business as a time clock station. So you can have employees clock in and out without buying expensive or bulky equipment. The time clock feature is, all, is also included in all TrackSmart scheduling plans, except our basic plan. Therefore, if you go with scheduling plus premium or enterprise plans, you also get our time clock included at no additional cost. If you'd like to go over any of these features again or have your own private walkthrough of any of, any of the more in-depth features that we did not fully cover, please be in touch with us uh, and a customer success coach would, will be more than happy to assist you with your questions. Now back to you, Helene.
Thank you, Alex. This brings us to the final portion of today's presentation, and that's to let you know that we're not just interested in supporting you as our customer, we're committed to your success. Our customer success coach is like a hybrid between a tech support agent and a time and attendance consultant. You'll hear directly from one in just a few minutes when we have our Q&A session. Whether you've got a question or several questions, can't figure something out, or need just a little help, these guys have your back. As a customer or potential customer, you'll have a designated customer success coach at your disposal. Your coach is not just here to answer emails. He or she is ready to speak with you on the phone and walk you through the app or make suggestions on how to make the best use of your account, take advantage of all the features in a way that fits your business. Even if you've just got a question about managing employee time and attendance or a related compliance issue, call your customer success coach who's ready to help. If they don't know the answer, we've got a full staff of HR and labor law compliance experts that you can rely on. Also, they like to pick up the phone and call you too. You may hear from your customer success coach every so often just to check in on you. You can call a customer success champion at 877-457-4855. You'll talk to an actual real life person and get help, or you can email address you can email us at the address on your screen, support at tracksmart.zendesk.com. We'll be mailing out these contact details in the follow-up to this webinar. You'll get an email, so don't sweat it if you don't have your pen and paper handy. Okay, we're, by the way, if you want to browse through commonly asked questions, you can search topics from a dynamic library 24-7 in the Help Center. Also, here's the TrackSmart member community. It's a forum filled with questions and answers, ideas and suggestions, and more from one of our best resources. The folks that are using the TrackSmart apps today. We encourage you to visit the community and share what's working for you or which enhancements you'd like to see us add. If there's something you feel would help you that TrackSmart doesn't feature today, let us know. We've got an idea bank. The majority of the features developed on TrackSmart came from our customers, believe it or not. Well, that's going to do it for getting up and running quickly with TrackSmart Scheduling. Thank you for letting me share that with you, and I hope it was helpful. And we're going to head into our Q&A session now. So if you haven't yet, please send your questions through the chat box on the left side of the screen. If we don't get to your question during the live webinar, we'll follow up and make sure you get your answer within the next day or two. Remember, we'll be sending out the recording of the presentation so you can review this again if you need to. So now I'm going to turn the presentation back over to Alex and our customer success coach, Marty. Hi, everybody. This is Marty. Uh, I'm on the uh, customer success team. And I'm always going to be here to help you out if you have any questions or uh, just any uh, even comments about the software. You may uh, plug along using this thing as a tr free trial and uh, come up with some ideas that you'd like to share with us. We're always happy to hear those. But right now we're going to cover a few uh, questions that are coming in and uh, we'll get right to those. Some of these, of course, have been covered in the presentation, but people come and go throughout the webinar and may not have heard everything. So if you hear something uh, in these questions you've heard before, then uh, don't worry about that. Someone else hasn't, so that's why we're covering those things. So here we go with a couple of the questions that we're seeing here. Uh, first of all, is it possible to replicate schedules? Well, yes, absolutely it is. After creating a schedule, you can copy it, paste it to another day, or uh, you can even uh, set up an entire week if you like and then advance the calendar to another week, doesn't have to be the next one, uh, and then you can go ahead and copy a schedule from any previous week and attach it to the new week. Uh, so that can really speed things along for you when you're setting things up. Okay, we have another question here. How can we avoid accidentally setting up uh, schedules for our people uh, where we'll be overlapping their shifts? Well, really that's not possible. The software won't allow it. Uh, whenever you're scheduling an employee, the person cannot be scheduled for the same period or any period overlapping uh, that he's already or she's already been scheduled for. The software simply won't allow it. Okay, we have another question here. Uh, we have one employee who can't seem to get the mobile app to work. Okay, this is an easy one. We've seen this occasionally, and this turns out to be a case of someone using the wrong app. We have three apps. Uh, earlier in the webinar, we showed a picture of one of them. Uh, 
that we have one for attendance, one for scheduling, and one for time clock. They do look uh, identical except for along the left edge of each uh, app. Uh, there's the specific name of the title you need. So you just need to make sure that you're using the right one. Uh, if you're in scheduling, you need to use the scheduling app and so forth. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty easy thing to fix. Uh, another question is, is it possible to track schedule changes? Well, yes, it is. Uh, just click a shift, enter a note, and this will create a bubble-like uh, call-out, uh, similar to what you see in a comic book. Uh, clicking on this will allow someone to see the note documenting the change. Uh, okay, we have another one which says, uh, can I import several employees at once? We did cover this a little bit earlier in greater detail, but just to cover it quickly here, yes, you can. And to find the uh, instructions on that, you can just go to the Help Center at the bottom of the screen. It will show you the simple process for doing that. Can I auto-populate a shift with employees? Yes, again, that's a, there's a button on the left side of the screen when you're setting up a schedule that says auto-schedule. You click on that and that will enable you to populate um, multiple names of employees into a specific shift. Uh, how will employees be notified when the schedule changes? Well, once the schedule is republished, the employees will receive an email notifying them of the change. Okay. And we have, uh, can I prevent my employees from picking up shifts uh, that have already been offered up? Yes, and this is handled by clicking settings and then the swap shift settings uh, selection within the software. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in. So just like what Helene stated earlier, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or um, send us an email. Um, pretty much that wraps up all the questions that we have. Again, on behalf of all TrackSmart team and also our success um, champions and also gurus here, we want to thank you for taking the time to join us today. Feel free to reach out and we'll be also be in touch with you. Until next time, happy, happy scheduling. scheduling.